In the previous part, I have created a page to list the books. Now I will create a model dialog to create a new book in our application. I am adding a new razor page to the books folder. Name it create model. Okay, this model is used to create a new book. So it first I am injecting the book application service. I am also defining a create update book DTO object to uh, save the book. I just want to create a new create update book DTO on the get request and on the post request I will just save the book. And returning the no content result. I'm just deriving from the ABP page model instead of standard page model. ABP page model provides a few uh, useful methods, base methods and properties for us, like no content is used to return a con no content result in an easy way. Furthermore, uh, the startup project contains a base class to derive all page models from it. Book store page model here, it's derived from the ABP page model. Creating such a common page model base class has some benefits like you can uh, add some uh, common properties and base methods to be shared by all uh, your page models. Okay, the uh, oh, I forgot to add bind property to uh, to make that uh, when the user posts uh, the form, uh, the bind property m makes the model binding to the book. Uh, from the form body Okay Now I can go to the user interface site. I will just copy then explain Okay, the model is create model model uh, create model model uh, and uh, I am injecting the localizer as just like uh, before this page will be shown inside the model dialog so it should not have a layout i am re re uh, i am using abp dynamic form tag helper this tag helper of the abp framework uh, makes it possible to dynamically create and render uh, and bootstrap form based on your model in this case, our model is create update book DTO. So it uh, will create uh, the form elements for each property in this model. ASP page is the uh, URL of the page uh, that will be uh, post uh, that will be used to send the post request. Inside the form, I am using ABP model model. Uh, ABP model is a simple tag helper which uh, makes it very easy to create models it has ABP model header I'm using the title property and uh, in the model body I am placing the ABP form content 
ABP form content is a part of the ABP dynamic form tag helper and uh, it indicates the, that the place of the uh, form elements. And finally in the model footer I am adding two standard button buttons. ABP understand that buttons for example uh, for the save button it automatically posts the, the, to the given URL uh, and handles uh, the model close and other uh, commons, common operations. Okay, uh, now I uh, have created the model. Now I will add a button to the uh, book list page to open the, that, uh, that model. Uh, to do that, I am just uh, replacing the card header uh, of the main page with a with two column uh, row. First one uh, shows the books, the name of the page, and the second column contains a button, name it new bu book button. Uh, now I uh, when I click this button, I want to show the model. So I will uh, create. I will change the index Java JS JavaScript code to handle uh, the button click. And uh, first, I am defining a model manager object, which uh, which gets a parameter for the uh, page path of the page and uh, returns a new model manager object. We can use this model manager to open, uh, close and uh, perform some operations on the model. You can definitely uh, use standard bootstrap code to open a new model but the model manager makes it very easy and as in the standard way. For example create model has a has an on result callback which can be used uh, to register to the uh, close event or actually save event of the model then uh, we can do something like uh, reloading the data table because when we add uh, a new uh, book we want to refresh the data grid to uh, show the new entity now I can just write a simple jQuery code to register to the click event of the uh, new button, uh, new book button, uh, and use the create model dot open method. Actually, that's all. When we run the application, we will see the user interface to create a new book. Now I can see the new book button on the page header. I'm just adding a new book, Brave New World. It's a dystopia. It's very old book, but just I'm. Saving the book and uh, as you can see the uh, table has been refreshed and we can see the new book here. The dialog is also localized and validated automatically. When I save a book without, giving, uh, without entering its name uh, it shows the jQuery validation error message. Also it's localized based on the current culture. Okay, now we can create a new book and the next step is editing a book. So I am adding a new page. Name it edit model. Just like before uh, for the uh, create uh, dialog. Uh, I'm adding 
uh, credit update book D2 property here. Again, I will use bind property to bind the post data. Uh, create update book D2 doesn't include an ID property. So we need uh, an ID uh, of the book uh, that is used to find the editing book. So I'm just adding a new ID property. I want to uh, bind this property also, but this time binding from get request. And also, I will show this uh, ID in the uh, form as a hidden input. Uh, now I can inject the I book app service. On the get request, I'm just changing it to um, async because I will get the book to edit from the application service. Book app service dot get returns a book detail as a result. So I want uh, to map this book detail to the create update book detail. I'm using object mapper. Okay, object mapper is a base property defined in the uh, ABP page model. So I'm just inheriting from the bookstore page model instead of the standard page model class. So now I can use object mapper dot map. I am just mapping book DTO to create update book DTO and setting it to the book property. I also want to add a post handler in the post handler I will just use the book up service dot update with ID and book and return a no no content result as just done for the create model. You should also define the mapping from book DTO to create update book DTO because we have used object mapper. So I am just opening the uh, bookstore web auto mapper profile which defines the mapping used uh, on the user interface side. I am using create map for book DTO to create update book DTO. In this way, the object mapper will just work and uh, convert the book DTO from the book in the model class. Now I can change the edit model .cshtml file. I'm just pasting the code. Uh, it's very similar to uh, the create model uh, page. The main difference is that we have an ID property as an ABP input tag helper. ABP input tag helper can understand the hidden input uh, and place an hidden uh, input uh, in the form. Now I can write the JavaScript code to open the edit dialog. I'm opening the index.js file. First of all, I am defining a edit model uh, object, uh, a model manager for the edit model page. Now I can uh, open the dialog. 
uh, I will add a new column definition at the beginning of the data table columns. This column definition has a special meaning, which is an extension of the ABP framework for the book uh, for the data tables plugin. Uh, the title is simply actions. The row action is the extension point, which weights an items array, uh, which uh, contains actions uh, for the entity. My action is uh, name is edit, and the action callback uh, is the code that I want to execute uh, when, when the user clicks to this action. So I'm just uh, opening the edit model here by providing the uh, ID property of the selected uh, row on the table. Uh, model manager automatically adds this uh, ID to the query string so it's binded to the model uh, page and it uh, gets the true book from the data database. Finally, when the user uh, finishes uh, editing a book, I want to refresh the uh, data table, just like done for the create model. I'm just writing edit model on result, data table Ajax reload. That's very simple. And it's actually finished. I can rerun the application. Now I can see an action button uh, for each row in the data table. When I click, I see the edit action and editing uh, the book. Again, validation and localization works as expected. I'm just adding it to two and uh, yes, it's, it seems changed. The next step will be to uh, add a delete action for the book. I'm just opening the index.js again and uh, adding another action on the actions list. After the, uh, after the edit, I'm just, sorry adding a delete action. Uh, ABP has some other shortcuts like uh, when you select an action, you can specify a callback to, conf uh, to confirm, uh, to show a confirmation message. A confirmation message in this case, the warning, warning to delete uh, a book with the uh, given book name. The action simply, simply use the uh, dynamic JavaScript proxy is generated by the ABP framework. Acme.bookstore.books.book.delete, which gets an ID of the uh, book to delete. Uh, and in the callback function, I'm just uh, showing a notification to the user and then refreshing the page. That's all. I'm just refreshing the page. And now I can see the delete action here, deleting the book, and it's uh, it writes a confirmation message. I haven't localized it yet. I will do it, but for now, I'm just deleting the uh, book, and it just works. Let's localize it. Localized it and refreshing the page. When I try to delete a book, now I can uh, show a better message. And I have seen the notification here. That's all we have finished all the crude operations for the books.